Hello everyone, my name is Nino. Um, well, first of all, welcome to the video and to my channel. And the reason I'm making the video is because uh, I found a way to uh, show custom items, as uh, textures, uh, both in Java and Better Edition with Hazer. Now the reason I'm doing this because uh, there are a lot of people asking in the Hazer Discord, um, in other plugins uh, Discord, how to uh, set up custom texture for both Java and Bedrock. In this case, we're going to perform uh, uh, this process with uh, executable items with this plugin. Just one moment with this one. So let's get started. Well, first of all this is my t a test server. As you can see I can see I can delete the texture I made for this video. It's a weird this word. <laughs> but as you can see it works properly without any problem and also in Java they can look at it. Okay how we can do this? Well, uh, if you know how to uh, set up the uh, the custom texture for uh, for your items, then that's perfect. If not, I will I will leave uh, in the description of the video a link to the official documentation for the uh, executable items plugin, so you can follow the tutorial how to set up the custom texture. Well. First of all, as you know, if we go to resource pack, uh, to perform this, to to make it, sh uh, to be able to display uh, this texture, texture, you need to set up a, a resource pack for Java. In this case, it's this one. So how we can we uh, can be can we be able to? Uh, to display this this word in better occasion. Okay, first of all, I will stop the server. This is just some local 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 files. There's no problem with that. Okay, the server is closed. Okay, first of all, we need the uh, Java resource pack. We go here. In this case, I would take it from this folder. It this one. And then we need to use the the uh, Java to Bedrock Texture Converter. I will leave the link in the description, but you can find this uh, this link in the Hazer Discord. Uh, to be a uh, to this uh, converter be able to work, you need to upload the Java Resource Pack. In this case, I'm going to use Google Drive. So let's drag this texture back here. Um, my <laughs> Google Drive is in Spanish, so please ignore that. Then we click, we do right click, uh, a right click, and then we go to the share. And we need to be able to uh, set up this. As anyone can uh, can have this link, and also we need to modify uh, the general access to this file to the editor. So anyone can download, edit, modify uh, this file. Okay. Once we do that, we sh uh, we click on copy the the link. I'm also going to leave in the description this website. Uh, what does this website is to make a direct download link? Because the, uh, this is what the converter needs to download the file. So we copy the link here, and we click on Get Link Download. Here, so here's our direct download link. We just copy, and we paste it here. Here you can put whatever you want. I will put Java to 
bedrock and that's it okay in default a uh, adset version you just put the last version of your or your texture file in this case is one uh, one dot nineteen dot two in the block material this is what this is useful when you have blocks well in my case uh, I don't have any but the recom uh, the recommend option for this is to use the alpha test now in attachable material uh, again in this case is, is this is for a sword but also you can use for any other item what I recommend is to use the this one the entity alpha test once a diet we click the uh, we agree with the code of conduct and we submit for an issue okay now we are waiting to the converter to perform its job it can take a couple of minutes depending on how how much uh, textures do you have and so we just wait for it in the meantime I'm going to prepare a, a server I can close this and I can close this here I have a tutorial server w with everything that you need uh, that you need you need the, the executable items plugin you need the floodgate or hazer well you, you need hazer and also this is a, a library for executable items you also need it as well okay this server is brand new as you see there is no executable items so we're going to perform the the creation of the, of the item and also to set up the uh, the custom texture okay also just to remind you that sorry if you see English is not my first language so if you have any problem understanding me or something uh, or you need more help uh, feel free to write me on my discord so I can help you with this okay now once the 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 conversion is ready it will show you uh, show us a messages here saying that the runs have finished we just click the action room and we're going just we're going to click on where it says pack files well here we have our pack files ready so what I'm going to do is to drag this just one second here okay now what we need to do is the following in the meantime I'm going to start the server the tutorial server the start and also I'm going to click this as you know this converter will give you uh, a couple of files that we need so we can be able to transform the, J uh, the Java texture pack into bedrock first we need the JSON mapping this is the file that will let us uh, add the item to bedrock so it's very important uh, I will drag this file into my desktop uh, okay okay wait just one second I would drag. sorry I will I would drag this file into my custom mappings file uh, folder and also and also inside packages there is a a file that, call, that is called JSON resource MC pack we're going to to do this later uh, to, to put this the resource pack in the packs folder okay okay now we are ready let me just see if the server is is, is loading okay and also just to just so we, uh, so that we can perform the the tutorial I'm going to delete the old um, the old package that I have one second it's here this one okay now let's start the server Let 
let's just wait one second okay perfect the server is starting we're going to go back to a uh, job addition and let's just wait okay Okay, it's creating the folders item, perfect. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to perform the following. Let's just give me OP one second. Okay. Okay, I will grab a diamond sword. Why? Uh, why I'm grabbing a diamond sword? Because in my texture pack folder, I choose to perform to make this item with a diamond that's worth um, there is more information in the official documentation for executable items and I will leave uh, that information in the description of this video okay once we have our item let's create a, the item together create a diamond well I will call it tester test is worth Okay, and I will put a custom name for it. I will put test sword. Okay, that's perfect. That's great. Now I will put the custom model data. In this case, I will put one. Why one? Again, because in my resource pack, when I, conf I configure everything, uh, I choose one as a custom model uh, model, model data. Again, there is more information in the official documentation. I will leave a, a, a link in the description of this video. I choose one, and as you can as you can see, there is our there is our custom texture pack. I will save this, and I will grab this word. Amazing. Okay, now for better condition. Uh, for better. Uh, uh, because the item is already set up and we added the the custom mapping and the packs in the resource pack now better uh, just need to enter the, uh, to join the server okay I will make this big it will ask us to download the pack and it's just joining the server okay we are now in bedrock and if we, if we can see there is our custom our custom texture pack so if we give a uh, one is word to the bedrock player one second there's no problem with it as you can see, it's working properly as it worked, and the other, um, they can see us, and we can see them. So that will be it. This is a, a small tutorial. Uh, if you have any problem or if you didn't understand something, please let me know, and I will try to help you as possible. Remember that this is for executable items project. Also, I can make a tutorial for how to make the armor work in better recognition as well. But at the moment, I have only tried that with the Oratsen or plugin. It's another plugin that I use for my better and Java server. Uh, um, in my personal opinion, it handles uh, the, uh, the custom uh, arm uh, the custom texture for armor way better than executable items. But if you want, I can make a tutorial for that as well. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if, again, if you have any problem or if you need something more more help from my side, please let me know in my Discord or in the comments of this video. And that will be it. Bye.